Hello everyone, today I'll be diving into some incredible tools that have become essential in my game development process. If you're looking to level up your workflow in Unity, you will not regret watching this video. Also, you can find all of the packages in the links down below. Okay, so first up we have Naughty Attributes. This tool is a game changer for exposing C-sharp methods in the Unity editor. The package also comes with incredible attributes. My favorite one has got to be Button. This allows you to trigger functions from the inspector. Amazing. The most notable ones in my opinions are layer. This allows you to set a string variable directly to a layer in the inspector. This means you can easily reference layers in your scripts without hard coding them. Tag. Similar to layers, this lets you assign tags to string variables right from the inspector. This makes it simpler to manage and categorize game objects. And also show asset preview. With this attribute, you can display a preview of a game object or sprite directly in the inspector. This helps you quickly identify assets without digging through folders. Overall, Naughty Attributes not only streamlines your workflow, but enhances your productivity in the Unity Editor. Next, let's talk about Dootwin. If you're not using it, what the hell are you even doing? This powerful animation engine simplifies creating smooth transitions with just one or two lines of code. Whether you're animating UI elements, moving objects, or changing properties, Dootwin can handle all of that with ease. I highly recommend this video, which I will also link down below, that showcases Dootwin's insane potential. Okay, moving on to Serialize Dictionary. This package is a lifesaver when managing dictionaries directly in the inspector. The Serialized Dictionary attribute exposes your dictionaries, allowing you to view, add, or remove key value pairs without writing extra code. This is incredibly useful when dealing with complex data structures, as you can visually manage your data, making it much more accessible. Now, I can't recommend the next package, which is Cast Visualizer Enough. This tool visualizes Raycast calls in real time, showing you exactly where they hit. This tool is a 10 out of 10 and should have been built into Unity from the start. Next is the Player Pref Editor. This handy tool allows you to manage player prefs right from the editor. You can create, modify, and delete preferences easily. It's got a super user-friendly interface. And it makes testing and debugging really easy. Okay, kind of a similar next tool, if you're working with a lot of scriptable objects, you'll want to check out the Scriptable Object Table View. It makes bulk management and data organization really easy. You can view all of your scriptable objects in a table, which makes it really easy to organize everything. A really cool tool I found recently is called the Timescale Toolbar. It's a must-have for debugging. It lets you change the time.delta time on the fly during runtime. I really cannot recommend it enough. Okay, for more of a niche tool, I love using Sticky Notes. This tool allows you to leave notes on game objects and windows, which is especially useful for a team collaboration. The notes are also highly customizable and overall, amazing package. Of course, we cannot forget about the Bayesian Path Creator by Sebastian League. This tool allows you to create smooth paths for game object movement. There's also its successor, the Spline tool, which is built into Unity already. It allows you to create points in the world, and interpolate game objects over those points. Okay, last but not least, we have Vector Visualizer. This tool lets you manipulate Vector 2D and Vector 3D variables directly in the scene view. Whenever I have to reference a position in the world in a script, I always use to use Transform, because then I can place it in the scene and see where it is relative to the others. But with this tool, I don't need to create a new Transform game object. I can just create a Vector 2 or Vector 3 and just place it, it's so good. Okay, so there you have it. These 10 tools have made a massive difference in my game development workflow. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like and share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you think this video deserves a share to one of your game development friends, please do. So that's it for now. Have a good day.